Hey guys, this is Tim. I recently received this ultra compact six channel headphone amplifier from the manufacturer to do a review made by LZ SIG. And this model number is LHA2. This is an upgraded amplifier in which they've added a bass boost on there. And I can't wait to give it a try and listen to it. So let's look at it a little closer, see how it hooks up and let's give it a try. Okay, it came with a user manual that explains how to make all the connections and how to use the amplifier and a DC 12 volt uh, power connection cord. Okay, as I stated earlier, this will accommodate six different headphones. And as for the headphone plugs, it will accommodate a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch of the six. This is where you have your input cable that goes to your uh, sound source it could be your computer or in my case I'm using a interface recording interface and this is where you would connect your power cord looking on the front you have six individuals control knobs here where you can just simply adjust the volumes and then you have the one input volume so this has to be turned up in order for these to work individually so each of the six persons wearing headphones can have their own volume individually adjusted. You turn the unit off or on with this button. This MS is mono or stereo function. Press it in for stereo, out for mono. And this is the best feature here. It has a bass boost. So especially if you're listening to music, if you press the bass boost, it will increase the amount of bass and quality of the overall experience coming out of the headphones. This is awesome here and I will demonstrate it. So it's very easy to hook up. Let me show you quickly how, how to hook it up. Okay, so I'm using five headphones for purposes of uh, this demonstration. So I'm gonna connect the power supply. And then I will connect each of the headphone sets in the back. And if you notice, I have a variation of quarter inch. And here's an eighth of an inch connection. And lastly, you want to connect the input cable. Mine's coming from my interface, or it could come from your computer. And if you notice, this is an eighth of an inch connector. And the other end goes to my interface. Then you turn on the power. You can see it's lit up here. So let's disconnect all these headphones but two, and I'll connect it to my computer, and we'll listen to the output going into these headphones. So I would like to point out it will take both TRS and TS type output adapters, both the eighth of an inch as well as the quarter of an inch. And if you notice, these have two rings on the sleeves. These are designed for using in mono or stereo type versions. TRS stands for tip rings and sleeves this is what a ts looks like it has only one ring versus two okay if you look at my setup i have my headphones and then i have your headphones my input cable will be connected to my interface okay i could go ahead and turn the music on but obviously you won't be able to hear it so i'm going to disconnect this from the headphones, use this quarter inch to, to eighth of an inch adapter and plug it into the interface as though I'm plugging in like a microphone or guitar. So now the music coming out of my recording software will be going into the headphones and in turn in the headphones now will be coming back into my recording software. So I've set up a recording track labeled LZ SIG model LHA2. You can see these here. And that will be what's coming out of the headphone set. Okay, what you'll hear is music that I've recorded previously using my acoustic guitar, and bass guitar, and some other instruments. So you can hear the quality coming into the headphones. And I will demonstrate periodically the bass. So let's turn the power on. Okay, you're listening to volume number two. I'm listening to volume number one. 
I kind of have these preset, but I can demonstrate these to you. Okay, and here's the input. This is if you're using mono or stereo, which I'm going to press and use stereo. And then we'll demonstrate the bass boost. Uh, that's what's exciting on that. So you'll be able to hear the difference when I boost the bass, but you'll also be able to see the difference as far as the sound waves. Okay, so let's hit record. Can you watch the monitor? So if you look at the recording sound waves, without the bass boost, it's pretty steady. Sounds very, very good. But when you press the bass boost down, it not only increases the quality that you're hearing, but increases the sound waves as well. So just enough boost, but not too much to distort what you're listening to. So I'm highly impressed with this headphone amplifier. Not only will it accommodate six different headphone listeners, but the added feature of the bass boost just really increases the quality of the sound that, that the headphone listeners will be listening to.